Around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen are currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine, told. They will be ready by November 1, the intelligence chief said. He noted that North Korean troops will use Russian equipment and ammunition, and the first echelon of 2,600 soldiers will go to Kursk, where fighting continues. Where the rest of the troops will be sent is still unknown. We don't have the full picture right now, Budinov said. Earlier, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that North Korea is already preparing a contingent to fight against Ukraine. It's not just infantry, but also specialists from various military services. According to the President of Ukraine, there is information from Ukrainian intelligence that North Korean officers are already in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. They are training Russian soldiers. I do not know the number of officers, but there is intelligence that Russia is counting on such reinforcement. Because Russia is not able to keep up with mobilization. It loses too many on the battlefield. And Putin knows that his society is against mobilization. That is why he is looking for external support, the president says. Zelensky says that Russia and North Korea intend to train 10,000 soldiers from various branches of the armed forces and ground forces. That is, Putin wants to involve not only infantry but also specialists from various branches of the military, including tactical ones. And we know that North Korea is already preparing a contingent to fight against Ukraine. This is a very urgent thing, the head of state says. Zelensky says he had talked to the United States and many leaders about this, as it is the involvement of another country in the war. This is an official fact that another country is being drawn into the war and will fight against Ukraine as a contingent alongside Russia. Because you know that Iran has already provided Russia with missiles and UAVs, but not with contingents. And this is a serious step, the involvement of a contingent in the war, he emphasizes. The State Duma of the Russian Federation ratified the treaty between the Russian Federation and the North Korea, which Putin and Kim Jong-un signed back in the summer of 2024. At the same time, it is unclear to what extent Pyongyang is ready to provide military assistance to the Russian Federation under this agreement. Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko says that Kim may provide Putin with engineering troops. Currently, the North Korea has 22 such brigades, but Kim is ready to provide Putin with three to four brigades. The Russian Federation has always lacked engineers, and they accompany the occupation forces both during the offensive and during the retreat. Since 2022, the enemy army has lost many military engineers. Engineers from the North Korea have extensive experience in constructing fortifications. However, such troops have not yet been seen in the occupied territory of Ukraine. It is also possible that Kim will send artillerymen to the Russian Federation. The most experienced troops in the North Korea are artillerymen. Today, there are 30 such brigades in the North Korea. The North Korean army is armed with both Soviet-era cannons and unique ones like the M1978 Koksan. OSINT analysts have not yet confirmed the presence of artillerymen from the North Korea in Ukraine. A more realistic picture is the transfer of infantrymen. They can be either in the rear or operate in the Kursk, Bryansk and Belgorod regions. For Putin, any help in the form of manpower is a big plus, since the Russian Federation already feels a shortage of reserves. Recruitment within the Russian Federation and around the world has not brought the Kremlin the expected result, so help in the form of 10,000 Kim soldiers is good help. Kovalenko is confident that in exchange for soldiers, Kim will want to receive access to military technology from Putin. The West's inaction over the past 10 years has already led to Pyongyang creating its own Kornets, Tochka US, and even ballistic missiles. If the West continues to ignore the growing threat of this tandem, it will lead to much worse consequences, which are becoming more difficult to prevent every day. Russia is currently training over 10,000 North Korean troops in the Far East, 
according to a source in the Ukrainian Defense Forces. According to the source, the North Korean military is being prepared for deployment to the border areas near Ukraine. They are also being trained to rotate Russian troops to free up their personnel, etc. The intelligence officers also believe that this battalion may be transferred not to Ukraine, but to strengthen the Russian group in the Kursk region to push out the Ukrainian Armed Forces units from there, which have been on Russian territory for more than two months.